Viking season is finally here. We trade our goods and we meet with our friends and share stories and knowledge. We learn from each other and pass on the traditions. We spend the time outside in all kind of weather and we have to be able to find our food and take care of ourselves when we are hurt and in need of healing. And there is so much I want to teach my daughters about the trees, the animals and the materials we harvest and gather for our crafts. I want them to live in harmony with nature, to know all the secrets and to be able to tell the edible plants apart. But I don't have all the answers myself or the knowledge. But I do know of a woman who can help me. My name is Gudrun Victoria Gottfried. I am known as the Völver from Ripa. You and me will go out into the forest and take a look on the herbs that is there at this time of the year. Many of you might wonder what is a vulva? Well, it can be a little bit hard to tell, but maybe if we say it's a Norse shaman, it will be the right word. I uh, work with the healing herbs, I work with healing in general, I work with trance work, not with a drum, but with the singing, and uh, I'm Asatru and have a lot of knowledge about the sources to the Asatru belief. Here we have the blackberries. You get so much energy uh, out of them when you walk in the forest. You're getting tired and you're thirsty. Take one of the sprouts in your mouth, chew it, and first you will think, well, this is horrible because it's very, very bitter. But then suddenly you will see that it, there is a very sweet taste, a berry taste, and the, the, the water will come to your mouth, so you are not thirsty anymore, and you will get filled up with energy. So come on, and there frogs may yeah. come yeah. and bathe it a bit. Yeah. So, Rasmus, if I should choose only one plant, that, uh, that would be the stinging nettle. The stinging nettle is so fantastic. She is uh, a herb that gives us a lot of strength. She uh, increases the, the iron in your blood. Also, something that people do not really know is that if you burn yourself on a stinging, stinging nettle, then you are protected against the sun the whole day. And you don't have to, to burn the whole body. You can burn just a part of your body, burn yourself on the hand, and the skin will set up a filter and you are protected. That's really interesting. But I burn quite easy, and I'm not sure I'm ready to drop my factor 50 just yet. One thing you should be aware of is that when she is like this, she's perfect, but when she starts to have her flowers, then you should not use her anymore, because then she has uh, something in her, which I don't know what's called in English, but it's not good for the, for the kidneys. If you want to have a stinging nettle uh, all the, the summer, then cut them down uh, every week and they, you will have them fresh all the time. The raspberries are here. If you are pregnant, then start to make a tea out of the, the, the leaves because the leaves loosen up uh, your body so the birth will be much easier. Gudrun told me that this is only a good advice for the very last weeks of pregnancy. Ja, 
altså hvis, hvis det er, hvis det nu havde været et egetræ, hvad det ikke er, så havde vi kunne bruge det her som røgelse. Se, nu går vi jo i en gammel have, og øh, der kan man se, at der har vi laksebæret. Utrolig flot, og den har fået sådan nogle røde bær til sommer, eller til, til, til efteråret. Den er i familie med, med både hindbær og brumbær. Den er ikke hjemmehørende i Danmark, den er fra Nordamerika, men bærene, de kan sagtens spise. This is so interesting, and I have to keep up not to fall behind. Her knowledge is like a bottomless well, and I am learning a lot. Here you have the comfrey, and comfrey is the queen of the healing herbs. As you can see, her leaves, there are certain kind of juice in the leaves, uh, just like aloe vera. And uh, you can put that on a wound. You can also take the, the, the root and you can chop the root and, and mash it totally and uh, cook it. And then you can put it over a twisted or a broken leg and it will heal much faster. I will not recommend that you eat her. Uh, it's said that she can heal a broken virginity, so never give a young lady um, this flower. Uh, then you will insult her really much. We found garlic mustard, a lovely plant which tastes like mild onion and lemon. I was going to eat them all, but all of a sudden a raven flew by and struck up a conversation. The dandelion is seen as a weed, but it's really a fantastic herb. We have the buds here, and the buds are really nice. It's my spring candy, I call them. I just eat them, and you can try, and I think you'll like them. Uh, they are a little bit bitter, and yes, the dandelion is bitter. But our body needs all the bitter stuff. It's grown out of normal vegetables, but it helps our gallbladder uh, with the digestion. Um, so so uh, try to get a little bit more um, bitter stuff into your yep. food. And you know, dandelion, it might be a strange name. It comes from French, dente de lion, which means the tooth of a lion, and you have it here. You can see, it's like a lion's tooth. The duck, do it like this with the leaves, and then put it on the place, and then it stops stinging. So she take away the, the, the burning from the stinging nettle. And another thing is that if you make a tincture out of her root, and you take that together with the infusion of the stinging nettle, then your iron level in your blood will increase. The yellow dog or bitter dog is really, really good for that. And it grows everywhere. You have here the yarrow, and yarrow is also a healing herb that is very important. It's called the soldier's herb because it stops uh, bleeding uh, very, very fast. If you to dry it and you crush it and then you have it with you, you will be able to stop nearly every bleeding immediately. Uh, the blood will co coagulate very quick when you put it on. It heals uh, very fast and there will be no infection in it. The plantain is a herb that we are sure that the Vikings actually used for uh, healing because the name in Old Norse is Leitnisgras, which means the healing herb. Um, plantain, you can eat her also in a salad, uh, but I use her mostly external because she's very, really good if you get stung by a mosquito or a bee. You can chew the leaves and you can put the, this uh, chewed leaf on the place that hurts or itches, then the itching will stop.
the hawthorn is a very strong healing herb also um, and she's good for the blood pressure if you have too high blood pressure she will lower it and if you have too low blood pressure she will higher it you can take uh, either the, the, the flowers or, uh, and leaves or you can take the berries in, in the autumn both are good Here you have the willow, and the willow contains a lot of acetyl um, salicylic acid, which are the same as is in, in painkillers. So you can use it as a painkiller also. But you, if you're out in the wilderness, you have a bad headache, you can you can t make a tea out of it, and the headache will disappear. But it is easier to go and have a pill, to be honest. My basket was almost full, and so was my head with all this new knowledge, so we decided to head back. I learned so much today and I can't wait to come back home and share my new knowledge with my family. And hopefully one day I will be able to teach my daughters some of the things that I have learned today. So 
Now we have been talking a lot about the herbs that I use, but if you want to know more about me, uh, about my belief, which is the Asatru, then I actually have been giving out a book in English, also in Danish, but it, it is available in, in, in English, where I tell about how I um, live my belief, how I do, how I make my rituals, and well, who I am as a person. So you can get it on Amazon.